welcome back to my channel and it's me your mommy sweet so today we are going to talk about something very personal to me because i've been doing this for the past month since i gave birth to spia and hindi ko pa talaga um na discuss to in my channel and i know um, people are saying like why are you doing this bakit hindi ka mag direct clutch bakit nagpapump ka ang ang ano there's so many reasons kung bakit but today we are going to talk about um why i am exclusively pumping for spia so there is such a term na exclusively pumping in the breastfeeding community hindi siya masyadong nare-recognize -re kasi usually when we talk about breastfeeding, it's direct latching. It means um, the baby is latching on your breast for the longer period of time and in a way, it creates bonding and all. Person sabi nila kasi if you just pump, you don't create bond with your fam, with your child. But that, I do disagree. Kasi for me, it is a choice when you exclusively pump and kahit na gusto mong sabihin na iba talaga siya sa breastfeeding, it does not make you less of a mother or it does not let make you less of a breastfeeding advocate. I do try my best to feed Svia the best milk which is breastfeed milk. Um, it came for me kahit na nakapump ako but it came for me and she's really um, you know taking it. Um, so far, maraming mga frustrating moments, especially during the beginning of the exclusively latch, exclusively pumping journey. Because I really told myself, like for my second baby, I would really um, try my best to let her latch. Pero up until now, hindi talaga. We tried so many times, there were numerous times talaga na dapat siya maglalatch. Um, pero wala, hindi siya, hindi nangyayari yun. So parang na for first state na rin ako. And I told myself maybe because when she would um, become older, when her mouth would become bigger and she would latch properly. Pero every time we try, na for first state siya, na for first state ako as a mom. So I just, you know, accepted the fact that I will definitely be exclusively pumping for the rest of Svia's baby or until daughter until when she will stop na iinom ng gatas for me. So, ano ba talaga ang exclusively pumping? Iba pa talaga siya sa breastfeeding? Bakit ba? Para kang cow or you're like a goat or you know, para kang machine na tinatanggalan ng gatas. So, it doesn't, again, it does not make you less of a mom if you are breastfeeding. It's just that it has different ways. It, it, it's like, it's just that iba yung ginagawa mo. And again, hindi yun, hindi ka nawawalan, hindi yun nawawalan, hindi ka nawawalan ng bonding moment. Kasi when you put the bottle or your baby feeds with the bottle, andyan pa rin yung um, pag-aalaga mo. Um, Svia is the most, Svia is such a clingy baby. And kahit na bottle fed siya, hinahanap pa rin niya ako. Trust me, guys. Mahirap. I've been trying to do my job. I've been trying to do a lot of work, pero hindi ko magawa because Svia has been clinging and it's really hard. So I'm gonna show you some videos that I took during the first part of my pregnancy, um, during the first part of me taking care of Svia, and that's um, pumping at night, <laughs> at the middle of the night. Um, yun, para makita nyo kung hindi siya, hindi siya as in such an easy process, hindi siya madalian. Kasi sa, sinasabi ng mga tao, ay nagpapump ka because you just want to, to get the easy access or easy part. Trust me, mas mahirap siya. As much as possible, gusto ko pang mag-breastfeed to Svia or mag-direct clutch sa akin rather than exclusively pumping. Kasi ang hirap. When you exclusively pump, there are a lot of factors that you have to consider and you have to do a lot of chichiburichi before you start pumping. And na for frustrate ka when you see the small output you're getting rather than with the direct clutch, hindi mo nakikita. You're just gonna test or check your baby if so. But with the exclusively pumping, nakikita mo talaga kung gaano karami yung gatas mo. When's the time yung gatas mo naglilesen and etc. Tapos ikaw mismo, you would end up being a person, uh, you would end up being frustrated as a mom. So, bakit nga ba talaga nag-exclusively pump? When we exclusively pump, there are certain factors. 
um, it's either premature yung baby or hindi makadirect latch or parang choice ng mom or the mom is away. There, these are factors talaga that would let you uh, that would lead a mom's decision to exclusively pump. For me, I am um, exclusively pumping Sia. It's because hindi siya nagdadirect latch because my nipples are big and mahirap sa kanyang maglatch. So I tried my very best. We had a consultant for that, pero hindi pa rin. Wala pa rin. Wale. So that made me conclude na mahirap talaga sa akin mag-breastfeed. But at least I am exclusively pumping kasi mahal yung gatas. At least when you are exclusively pumping, um, sa'yo pa rin yung gatas. And you're still, you know, giving your child the best milk talaga. The healthiest milk talaga. How do you, I exclusively pump? So I'm gonna show you the pumps that I am using. I did had a lot of pumps na parang I am actually parang nag nag ano din ako nag test nag test out. But Spectra was the is the best pump that I have. But right now I'm using Wise Mom and then um, Real Bub. Nagtry ako ng pinaka pinaka mura na pinaka middle na pump and then the most expensive pump. So if you're going to talk about um, the little like first spectra, maganda talaga siya. The suction is good, the output, mas marami yung output mo when you have a very powerful pump. But again, if you want to do wearability and you have to think about the qu the quality and you know the cheap the amount of the money that you will be um, spending if wala ka masyadong budget go for the wise mom nakikita siya marami sa Lazada just make sure that it's the original one yung original talaga i'm not saying may mga fake pero baka wala but i got it from baby mama tala baby mama shop i forgot i'm going to put it on the link below kung saan ko nakuha yung spectra naman nakuha ko sa Bao babies and again I was using Spectre before with Sven and up, up until now with Sphia, but most of the time I'm using the Wise Mom because I always move around the house and the Wise Mom is really good when you move a lot and when you're working as well. The maternity bra is important or the breastfeeding bra is important. I bought a breastfeeding bra, yung open and close lang. Nasayang siya, marami yung binili ko pero hindi siya nagagamit. Magagamit ko naman siya. But again, if you want to have the ease, yung parang the yung parang wearability lang talaga ng pagpapam. Yung breastfeeding kasi when you breastfeed your child, pero wala siya pag, pag nagpapam ka, you have to hold the bottle. So I have to buy a pumping bra. And then may na may nakabili ako. Ang mahal ng pumping bra ha. But again, may nabili ako na cheap, may may may, may, may nabili din ako na mahal. With the mahal maganda yung pag uh, maganda yung attachment niya maganda yung foam niya hindi siya hindi siya na uh, ano pag if you wash it inside the washer yung attachment niya hindi ka nag-adjust dito sa bra side maganda talaga and it fits perfectly it's good hindi siya masakit while yung mura naman it works as the same as yung mahal na bra the problem is yung foam niya na de deform so yon yung number one problem na de deform so you have to you have to change it you have to check after washing it and then the attachment it's okay but ina adjust yung dito na side kasi ito yung problema eh. tapos na iba dito sa sa gitna but so far so good my pumping bras works as a workout bra kasi maganda maganda yung fit niya so I bought a lot, not cheap ones, and I also bought uh, very expensive ones. So number one, pumping bra is really important because if you don't have the pumping bra, you have to be holding the bottle and ang hirap. When you have a pumping bra, you can do whatever you want. That's why I have the pumping bra with me, the wise mom na wearable siya, and I can just walk around the house. I can cook. Sometimes I'm replying to emails, get on. <laughs> I'm doing my live. Kahit na ano, kahit na I'm doing streaming. Ginito lang pinapakita lang yung may pinapakita ko lang yung mukha ko. And I can do streaming even though I'm pumping. 
you have to hydrate yourself as much as possible hydrate always hydrate yourself even if you're breastfeeding you must hydrate yourself but with pumping kasi when your output becomes less or it slows down you have to hydrate like 30 minutes before you pump para at least mag-boost siya and again it works the same with the breastfeeding moms you have to do supplements so i'm taking natala twice a day mahal siya but i'm taking it twice a day for boosting my milk production and of course i also um, eat oats i eat flax seeds together with my smoothies peanut butter um gusto kong mag diet pero hindi i tried um having less um rice for for one week pero yung output then ng breast milk ko nag lessen so sabi ko mamaya na lang ako magda diet i just have to walk around and do my exercise at least once a week so that you know mag lessen yung ano um sa self ko para hindi ako masyadong mataba but it's okay um kahit mataba ako or kahit tumaba ako i am producing milk for my baby and i can go back to the to the new, to the old me after I breastfeed Mia. And ito ha, very important, you have to pump on schedule. I am guilty with this kasi because hindi ko nagagawa lahat, especially if I wake up late, um, I have, if I have to prepare food for Sven, for the family, if I have to make sure nag-nap time si Svia, ayaw mo pababa ng Svia, hindi ako makapag-pump, walang taong magbabantay kay Svia and all. So, hindi ako sumusunod sa pumping schedule ko. But as much as possible, in interval ko siya, 3 to 4 hours interval before my next pump. And in any case, yung output ko talaga mag-less, I always go to power pump. Ano yung power pump? Power pump is you pump 20 minutes on the first round, you rest for 15 minutes, you pump for another 15 minutes, rest for 10 minutes, and pump for another 15 minutes plus. Kahit na malait na lang yung lumalabas, you have to power pump. It stimulates the nipples, it stimulates the breast to create more, more milk <laughs> for your baby. So power pump is really important. Important thing that you always have to be on your bedside table or in your cart or in your breastfeeding cart is um, a hot compress. Kasi there are times na nagiging engorge yung breast mo, so hot compress is really important, and I'm guilty with that. I always experience that, so hot cup, warm compress is very important. And then if ever if you have time, you can massage the breast para magproduce siya and it would really empty the breast when you pump and if in any case na at least magsastuck uh, magsastuck siya or the like engorged breast yung mga mga lumps sa breast niyo i would suggest get a lecithin um, vitamins i had yung sunflower or soy lecithin it's good um, it is very good kasi it um, it thins out the output of your milk. I tried that one because there was time na ang sakit na talaga two days. I've been experiencing it and mat natakot ako ng magkalatnat. Kaya hinanap ko talaga siya. Buti na lang meron sa Watsons available <laughs> at nakabili ako. Meron naman sa health on healthy options pero ang layo ng Ayala Center dito at SMC ko. So kung tawo ng SMC side, meron sa SMC side na Watsons. So nakabili ako at least meron ng less than available. But so far after I took it. I just took it like for three days. Hindi ko nasa tinapos ng parang one week, kasi um, uh, it's soy, and I was like afraid na yun yung reason kung bakit nag allergic reaction si Sophia. So three days lang, at least naman nag thin out na yung um, milk ko. And after that, I never had any words um, breast or any words feeling after that. But I always empty my breast as much as possible. There you go guys. Um, excessively pumping is really hard, especially when you travel. Um, for me, if you travel, I always carry with me an insulated bag for para sa milk na Svia. So if ever I go to the city and like I will be spending a, a whole day out uh, like outside away from Svia, I always um, buy an insulated bag so that I could put the um, dry ice there and I could put the milk after I pump while driving or while going around the city and again you have to very very, very make sure it's sanitized it's clean and stuff like that 
um, the disadvantage lang talaga ayon. If you travel, um, it's really hard for you to be pumping, and then you have to be cleaning a lot of bottles, a lot of pumping parts, and you have to make sure that you follow the correct pumping process, the first in, first out, and the milk. You have to label it. Ang dami, ang dami talaga. Ang dami, ang dami dapat mong isipin when you pump. But again, it's liquid gold for your baby and it's really important. One advantage for me is I can drink. <laughs> Meron sila sinasabi na pump and dump. <laughs> and nangyari yun sa akin. But I don't recommend it guys. Kasi twice ako, twice yung nangyari. Maganda siya, nakakainom ako. But I had to pump and dump. And for me, I think because of the alcohol, it slowed down my milk production. So ngayon, I tried to, you know, save muna drinking wine and alcohol for the next six months. Wait lang muna tayo because I am building up again my milk production kasi yun nga, nag slow down siya during the holidays. Naging busy, hindi masyado nasusunod yung pumping schedule. So yun, nag lessen yung output. But right now, I am doing my very best to actually get that output. So again, exclusively pumping mommies does not make you less of a mom. Um, it's the same thing as mommies who formula fed, mommies who don't breastfeed at all. We have our own choice. It's our child. It doesn't make you less of a mother. You are the ones responsible for your child and it's your choice. I'm not saying that you're a bad mom or iba iba tayo talaga. But we should always remember that we should support each other as mothers. We should not be putting someone down because of their beliefs, because of whatever they are practicing with their child. It's their child. Child, it's their opinion, it's their decision. If you are a breastfeeding mom, if you are a single mom, if you're a formula feeding mom and an exclusively pumping mom, I salute you. We are doing the best for our child and we have the hardest job in the world. So we salute, we appreciate all the hard work that you are doing. Good job, mommies. <laughs>